<sighs> Y'all know what time it is. Time to get started on Modern Horizons 3, bro. How old is this? Oh my lord. So yeah, guys, um, we are a couple weeks out from uh, Bloomboro coming out, and when that happens, Standard is going to rotate, which means I'm actually going to like have to say goodbye to so many decks, like... Just so, what is this? Crack the case. That is not my deck, bro. What happened? Well, I guess it's a starter deck. But anyway, yeah, since it's so quickly approaching, I actually want to look back at some old decks and uh, use them one last time before uh, before they rotate. And I'm getting pretty full on decks. I, I noticed uh, when I deleted one of those starter decks, it I think it uh, took down a deck slot. Let's see. Yeah, so let's just get rid of all of them. Y'all didn't see that. The hell is Dino Might, bro? Ain't no way this is better than mine. <laughs> oh, it's for best of one. Okay, okay. It is cool that they gave us these uh, decks that are rotation proof, but uh, I, I need the deck space, bro. That's, that's why I'm making this video. So I got actually 64 decks that I. Uh, I'm not gonna show them all today because a lot of them aren't actually standard, but I do want to show some of them. Uh, speaking of which. Uh, <laughs> It is currently July 9th, well, 10th now, because it's after midnight, but, uh, it's Midweek Magic. There's an event, uh, based on Shamil the Inner Sun, where at the end of, uh, each of your turns, you discover five. So, um, I, I put up a YouTube short, I'll probably go out way before this video, basically showing that, uh, yeah, you can charbelch your people out of the game turn three, uh, rather consistently. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just show that. The worst part is, um, you know, a lot of people don't even, like, they're newer players just playing Midweek Magic to get cards in their collection, but it's, <laughs> you know, they, they gotta learn the hard way what we're doing, so, uh, un unless it's caught on already and people have actually started preparing for it and doing it themselves. Okay, what do they get? No more lies, bro, why is that in your, <laughs> does the emblem make it so spells can't be countered? I guess not. Well, they have a No More Lies in hand I'll have to take note of. Now they got a discard. Well, there's one piece. Uh, I, I specifically have two pieces in here in case the in the event we draw one. And I drew one Coilos Rock, but now it doesn't matter unless they have a way to um, to kill my Charbelcher. Um, I'm just going to come off and win here, so... We'll see. It looks well. Depends on what they discover into, but okay. Let's try that again. Opponent's mulliganing. So, wait, is this the same person I just fought? It can't be. Well, they're mulliganing to zero. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, this they got to be doing the same thing. And they're gonna win because they go first. Yep. Or not. I guess they're just uh, playing fair uh, five mana spells. Still probably gonna. Well, I guess I kill that now. <laughs> hey, you gotta land, buddy. Hmm. Got another one. Uh, Coilos Rock here would be awful. Well, I guess that is something that happens. So this is the absolute slowest the combo can go. 
Um, we'll see if see if they can kill me here. Drop to two. How deep can you dig? Galta, okay. All that value, and I don't think they have any uh, enchantment destruction, unless they discover into one. What the fuck is happening? Why are these still attacking? Doesn't really matter how much life they gain. Let's see what they hit. Probably another over here. Or nothing at all. Okay. Well, <laughs> just some real dang shit. But uh, yeah, y'all, y'all get the drill. Let's go standard. See what all I have. Twenty-two. That's it. Dog, come on. I still haven't made this into best of three, dog. <laughs> this is about to rotate. I guess, I guess Vivian gotta go, bro. I, I don't have time to make Vivian best of three. Whoops. <laughs> oh, here's my dino deck, bro. Look at this. This is the one I played with on cam. What's this? Case the joint. Draw two, then look at the top card of each player's library. Why is this in here? <laughs> What's going on? What is this deck? It looks flames, bro. <laughs> this is not what I remember playing with, bro. <laughs> Okay, first dino deck. What is this reanimator? I, I don't remember. It looks like a, a a version of like I bet Ledger Shredder Kaito many like two two years ago, one year ago. It's a long time ago. I, it looks like this is the the grandson of that version, and probably probably isn't any better. Um, what is all on my board? I'm just the just the usual suspects. Uh. I don't really know what this is supposed to do. I guess we'll get a game with it before deleting it. Uh, yeah, Squirming Emergence isn't really the hitter you, you expect it to be. I guess I should have waited till I got to Mythic to do this, because in Diamond, bro, it is... It is... Any Diamond players know the struggle, bro. It takes so damn long to find games. I mean, I am playing at 2.30 in the morning, but, like... You can't tell me there are this few people playing Magic Arena right now. That it should take... Over a minute and a half to find an opponent. In standard. <laughs> Let's see if he told he is, uh, is ready here. Bro, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this deck. Throw that down. Oh, jeez. Azorius control. Does this enter tapped? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, Prowler? Could have used all of those, but sure. Let's get a counter spell out of your hand. I guess I'll pay life. That is an astonishing amount of Jenga Taxiuses. Let's go. So I think I still get that trigger next turn if I'm still alive. Nope. Okay. I don't even know what to take, bro. No, there's nothing in my yard, like...
Take even more. And that exiles it, so that is the closest I think I've ever seen to 0 to 100 matchup in my life. God damn. Every copy of Duracin. This is the first dedicated Azorius control. Well, Arena's not gonna give me lands, it seems, so that's a complete waste of time. But, like, this is the first. I've been playing standard non stop for, like, a week now, because I'm, like, you know, I wanna get the most out of what I can while the cards are still in standard. This is the first dedicated Azorius control deck I have seen, period. The very first opponent I find in standard as soon as I start recording. It took two minutes to find that game. I don't think this deck is very good, but I would at least like to attempt to see what's trying to happen here, so I guess we'll pay life here. Get rid of that. Sword? Oh, that's Liliana. They did not play Liliana of the Veil, fascinatingly. Did you draw another counterspell? Had to have. Um, I guess I'll plus one. Because Tidebinder's coming in and at least they that won't be able to kill it. Pitch uh, my Prowler. They're wasting. Main deck cut down, right? Right. Drop it. <clears throat> Are you down? We'll just straight mill. Guess my opponent will draw a card for literally free, because very mastermind. I don't even think squirming emergence into shoulder is going to matter. Yeah, no, not, not when they have skill, Yana. Yeah, this deck is some dog shit. <laughs> Only one fifth? You've gotta be fucking kidding me. How is this, how is this supposed to function even remotely? Like, what does, how does this deck win? This is incredible. I have no idea how this deck is supposed to accomplish anything. The, the land base here is especially, especially perplexing, bro. Hmm. Yeah. I do need uh, Skilliana gone, but um, yeah, not a whole lot I can do. I guess I'll feel of ruin for a Greenland. Maybe they don't even. There's a green land. Now Skiliana hits the field. I can pitch Tortoise and reanimate. Or Island. I think I'd just pitch Island. And then get it back with Tortoise? That seems like a plan. Suppose I did fix their mana for shouldered, but speaking of shouldered, get what we got. <laughs> Bro, I I have no idea how this is supposed to function. Like genuinely no idea. I'm tired of your secrets. 
It's the emergence. Got nothing to reanimate. I'm sure his shoulder's hitting the field. Or go for the throat. Fascinating. Well, make him sack, Skilliana. Would have much preferred them to pitch their shoulder in here. Now they have land shouldered, of course. Now they have it, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't think I can win the damage race here. But I'll try it. Yeah, because isn't Gix's command mindless beyond imagination? I guess they don't have a fifth land. Speaking of lands, oh my god. Well, I can at least cast Jenga Taxius. Still gotta pay life for that. C cannot tell you why. Uh, I guess we hold back now because they're gonna gain so much it doesn't matter. Two for one here, because I'm sure they have another one. Oh, they actually have a land. Okay, they played that right into... <laughs> Y'all didn't see that. Yay, let's, let's get in for five, ladies and gentlemen. It's definitely gonna matter. Even more lands, let's go. We are kind of at a... Well, that altered the race in their favor, so I have literally one turn to draw any card in my entire deck that isn't a land. Guess we go bat to block. <laughs> well, goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that was that, as hysterical as long goodbye into one of Jenga Taxius is. I don't think that deck is salvageable. Long fucking goodbye. What? could possibly be the reason for bringing that in for that I I will never fucking understand arena players anyway yeah you are getting pitched uh, what is willow looks like the exact same deck but with this and no blue mana so it's just golgari but no uh, bat so uh I guess we'll lose to the bat nice I don't really think I like standard <laughs> like just thinking about, like, I used to really enjoy Standard, because, like, cards I used, like, just thinking about, like, Kaito, um, and, and like, Stomper, like, just, like, real grindy mid rangey stuff that I could, I could get behind, like, three mana cards, they used to lead you into something that could somehow find a way to victory, but now, with Power Creep of Modern Sets, it's, like... It's so unimaginably hard to win a game of Magic. It feels like every card your opponent has is three cards worth of value. Well, I know exactly what this is. That. I was going to play... Could not have possibly drawn this during one of the game. Now I'm going to... Yep. Exile that. What do you do without your clown ass hopeful? Right of oblivion, yikes. I guess this is just get permanence and win. And they, they will have enough to flash it back. Well, let's uh, draw a card. And do this. So yeah, none of, none of this is going to matter because random right of oblivion is just going to exile everything. But, theoretically... Theoretically, they're out of removal now, so... Let's slam Shouldred. 
Skilliana of the Veil hits the field immediately. Cracking clue main phase, why not? Um, let's go Prowler, hope to god to hit a land. Didn't think so. Um, well, Willow Geist, let's go. Now I can at least emergent uh, get shouldered back. If I still have creatures and Skilliana doesn't just... Well, that stonewalls my entire board, so... I guess we'll allow Liliana to just keep doing whatever it wants. There's, there's no real other option. I guess Liliana has just completely taken over the game, because... <laughs> Yeah, this is the, what, sixth game in a row where Liliana just comes down and wins the whole entire game? Hmm, no attacks, so we still have Sack Fodder. Right of Oblivion? It is at two, so she can do that, but I, I got that Prowler I can sack. Skilliana again? No fucking way you have another Right of Oblivion. My god, this is getting old. I guess when they flash that... No, that's just my graveyard for Willow Geist. Yep. No fucking way! And we are still so many lands away from casting that. Interesting choice to uptick there. Very interesting choice. <clears throat> now if Lily wants to kill my Willow guys, it's gotta go to zero. They're just on the uptick. Fascinating. Hoo-wee. Keep Lily at bay. If I draw another land, I can Virtue. That's something. Oh, they got... Okay. Another Lily? I know you have another Lily. Oh, Braids. Yuck. Well, I'm under no circumstances uh, sacking a land here. Okay, what do we get back? I guess I need... Eight. Well, let's go this. They got a block. The Ward 4 is going to come in clutch here. Okay. So this deck's already doing miles better than the, the previous one. Uh, four duresses in, though. And many of these. And even those, yeah. Kind of give up on the graveyard plan, then? I guess so. Maybe not give up. I give up, but try it like that. Hmm... I guess it's theoretically keepable, provided this next turn... Well, God, I wish that entered untapped. Oh my God, you have no idea. Well, I guess we'll wait till turn three to play, uh... Duress. Interesting, now I can play Contaminator, that might be better. No, I think Duress into... Which we call is better, Skilliana. What do we pitch? A land, I guess. Yeah. Really do another land. I'll play you. Duress. Get that out of here. Yeah, land, shouldered land. 
Not looking good for the home team. And I think I think this start is just unbeatable when I have no interaction to speak of. Oh, they're uh, opting for me to discard here, so this does nothing when Children of the Apocalypse exists. Mm. I guess we'll uh, do that. No attacks. You're probably gonna have to tick down Lily, then right of oblivion. Yeah, there's the graveyard hate. They are still doing that. Guess we'll just pitch that shit. Yep, this'll work. Throw back, that's sorcery, right? Yep. So we can uh, destroy an enchantment and exile a yard. And then I'm just going to attack Liliana. I guess we're trading. Hmm, I guess I'm losing to Liliana ultimate. Nope, well, they're still on that plan. Why the fuck did the game crash? In the middle of fucking attacks! I land go. Oh god. That's gonna take over the game in a hurry. What the fuck does this do while saddled? Exile it and up to one other target creature that saddled it. Okay. Trading with braids. Well, now I get to draw and replay that. I was not expecting them to block that way. were absolutely free, so no way I was getting around that. We basically need Pithing Needle early game to get Lily out of there since I don't have Pithing Needle in this sideboard, so yeah, Lily just completely fucking takes over a game if you don't have haste. Oh, no needle, no... no, no nothing. Best I can do is uh, tear asunder the... Hopeless nightmare that hits the field this specific turn of the game. Or they're just playing tap lands. Why? Why could you not have hit the field last turn? I guess I'll still play it. But god damn. Talk about mana inefficiency. Just why? Play that. Uh, sure. Contaminator. Gileana probably hitting the field this turn. Tithing Blade. Sack that. Gain a life back. Oh god. Slam you down. There's Skilliana. Well, 
in here helps. I think I'd rather just kill this here because I'm not getting out from under it once it starts making me discard. So I think the game might already be over. If, if another Liliana hits the field this turn, the game completely ends. Well, they're just uh, chipping in for, what, two life point swing? Yeah, not very impactful. Um, run this out. Guess I won't. Guess I won't pay. Holy fuck. Fairy and we're done. Oh. Green. Stop trying to tap my only source of green mana. Fucking ridiculous arena. God? Not a whole lot I can do with this few lands, so we'll just duress. Skildred the Apocalypse. No sense in attacking. There's a real card, finally. Now I can start attacking. With both of them. Not with just one. Uh, now they can slam shoulders and the game still fucking ends on the spot. Wow, what a main... What a fucking top deck. Uh, no thanks. Um, oh, we're not on standard anymore for some reason. Uh, click. We got Urza Friends. Okay, this looks kind of... <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> looks cool. It's looking, yeah, I can rock with this. Let's go. One land, the Arena Classic. Opponent kept a one lander. Let's throw down a blocker. They do be plotting. Um, let's, uh, let's just get this down. I won't block. Oh, that's menace too. Hmm. Uh, let's just kill that. You get to draw so many damn cards. Uh, let's put life link on you. So maybe we can win a game if our opponent only has one land. That is a big fucking maybe though. Put lifelink on it. Throw down to fairy. Up tick. Artifact, sure. Creature, sure. Land. Let's go. In the turn. Coming at me, huh? Something tells me I better double block. I don't think they can do 17 damage, but just in case. <coughs> Oh, 
Well, that almost worked, sort of, not really. Alright, um... Let's <laughs> down tick to fairy. <clears throat> Try to find something. None of those help. Let's just go fateful absence to try to stay alive. <clears throat> sure. Kill you. Boy, the opponent missing land drops here is painful to watch. Not for me, though. Oh, two cards. You, you got it, big dog. Uh, I'll keep the farewell pitch uh, planes. <clears throat> and let's do this. Click. Do -do -do, and then untap the things. Sure. I think I just let him hit me, or Teferi in this case. Mm. Yeah. Did his job. Three. Those don't really help. Uh, might lose the game here. <laughs> Did not realize I already played a land per turn. I completely forgot this was an Urza deck too. Yeah, shields down here. Facing down a four power Rona is not or Felden. Who the hell's Rona? Oh, the yeah, that girl. Yeah, I think we die here because of that. I did not know I would. Did not know I'd be taking this much damage. Just how, how fucking much. I guess we won't sideboard? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Did I not make this? Did I not make this best of three? I don't think I've ever brought a best of one deck to best of three. What the hell's going on? Maybe this is best of one. Bro, I don't even... Oh god, opponent kept seven damn cards. I don't think I can afford to keep that then. It's a little better. Uh, no, it isn't. God damn, this is horrible. Tez, sorry, buddy. So yeah, I uh, legitimately had no idea this was a best of one deck, <laughs> but uh, the fact that it didn't let me sideboard is a bit telling. I pretty much uh, moved, like I, I made an Urza Commander Brawl deck, and I, I think that's just all around better because like. He, you always have access to your Urza, and you can meld when you want. Not really when you want, because there's only one uh, Might Stone and Weak Stone in the deck, but overall, just feels better, like flavor-wise and everything. Like this, this is this is a complete mess. Like, <laughs> what? I cannot believe this is best of one. Either that, or it just straight up didn't let me sideboard. Oh, so I'm probably killing. Swift Spear this turn. Yeah, so that's... That's a huge chunk of life I just saved, but I'm still down to a fucking nine. One has two cards. Um... And a flyer. Maybe I should have blocked the f or killed the. F no, I couldn't have killed the flyer. So I think this is just better. And then I can this on four kill the show off and 
Hope my opponent runs out of gas. Bro, <laughs> this is this is intense. I'm not usually on control like this, but is this even control? I guess so. Well, I know what that is. Uh, ooh, Wandering Emperor here is tempting as hell. But I, I think we gotta do it. <laughs> Minus five on that. No attacks. We're definitely blocking the Fugitive Codebreaker. I think when it flips up, they can draw three, so that's scary, but that should cost them all their mana at the very least. And I can trade, or I can block it and kill it. And Ember, the gain two life is not unimportant either. So. Okay, they might be two for wanting, which is also fine. How much does it cost to flip? <laughs> you got it. Uh, now, now I have to. Uh, how much does the ward? Two. Never mind, I can't. Um, actually, no, this can pay ward cost, right? Yeah, okay. Ooh, clutch, clutch, might stone and weak stone. Hey, hey, we did it, bro. We did it with the best of one deck. I don't know how we did it. Or mono red of all decks. But is this seriously best of one? It is. That's incredible. Why weren't you down with the other best of one decks, bro? Come on. Alright, Boros Burn. Oh, no. I made this like the day lightning uh, helix came out. And uh, it, it, it isn't very good, bro. Trust me. I, I really don't even want to play with it. Like, it's so bad. To my board. Call a professional. I probably can't gain life. Okay. Lord's Escape, Needle, Fable Absence. Yeah, pretty interesting looking deck, but like it's bad, bro. You should just play Mono Red if you're gonna do something like this. I guess uh, the life race could matter in matchups versus Mono Red, but like. Five lands, not a card below two mana. That's much, much better. I think we put back a uh, Swift Spear. Hmm. Opponent also on Boros, but they have the much better Boros tech. <laughs> uh. hmm. Do I just... Do I just kill this while I have the chance? Guess so. Get this race on. Because I got white in my deck, bro, and I can recover. You're, you're never going to see it coming. Uh, let's draw two. Smack you. Yep. Keep that. Well, they are totally going to think I'm just mono red. Oh dear. Suddenly this hasn't... Oh, okay. Uh... <clears throat> Let's go that. Um, sure. Draw two more. Alright, ping uh, you. Got a chump. So now they only have two bodies, which is good. I can bring back my uh, adversary here. And then I guess I'm going for a play with fire on that 2-2. Two -two, unless they play an even bigger creature. Oh god, it might be happening. I guess I'm gonna have to burn my opponent out of the game now because they have so so much body, so many bodies on board. Yeah, this is probably not the deck. I mean, at the very least, um, God, they can still fucking play more. Down to eleven. If we 
play you. Auto pay. Hmm. And just go at him. Do not need that. Surprised they didn't kill my swift spear and then chump my adversary. draw a lot of burn to actually do this, but with virtue it's certainly possible. We go virtue. Um I think I do this. Recruiter here just wins the game, so if he got it, congrats. But War Leader's Call does not do it. I don't think. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll be at 12. If they swing out here. Otherwise, I can have a, a good turn, provided I don't... Uh, Yeah. Okay. Play with fire. Lightning helix. <laughs> Take action. Let's let's do it. <laughs> Come on. Take action. Oh no. Oh no. I th I think uh, monsters rage is enough. Holy shit, I pulled it out. Yo! That was crazy, bro. Oh my god, we still have another game. <laughs> no. I guess we bring in some get lost. Awful hand. Yep, got them all. Okay, that's much better. Throw that away, don't have white mana, no need to keep it. Just play with fire that- uh, just kidding, I don't have play with fire or creature to play with that, so, uh, probably lost this one. More than likely lost it, because the, uh, Gleeful Demolition, it's- it's- You got it, bro. I- I can already tell you, you got it. I do not feel like playing this game any longer than I have to, so, I, especially after that first game was so grueling. Let's actually get the play, let's have a decent curve. My opponent's mulliganing to find their perfect hand. Mulliganing twice, three times. Oh, they're sticking it out, okay. Four cards. Well, that's either the best four cards in their deck or scraps, so we're about to find out. Uh, looking like the best cards in their deck if I had to take a guess. Mm. What can I do here? can kill something with this. Reinforcements. Um, sure. They're at this stage, I can burn them out soon. They just tapped damn near all their creatures. But they're drawing an entire new hand, so... A little bit of give and take there. Oh god, Warden. Kill that. Give them even more- oh man, that is... that is awful. Oh man, oh man. Okay, uh, let's... kill this. 
mean, they, they do have another knight, Aaron, but I do have a lot of burn in hand. And they gotta tap a lot of creatures. But they still have three card or three mana? And they have the recruiter, so I guess I have to win the game this turn. Seismic Wave. Two damage to any target and one damage to each. That's hysterical. I mean, it's literally all or nothing here. I, I either do enough burn damage to win or I just lose. Um, not necessarily. Okay, when did... I don't know when this got up to a 3-4. Helix, you. Because that shouldn't be enough, right? Yeah, still alive. Um, Pia. Range Resolve. No, oh, we gotta land. Okay. Killed that. Attack with this, because it's just going to die to Seismic Wave, I guess. No fucking way. That is exactly my experience with magic. And fight for your absolute fucking life while your opponent mulligans to one card and they'll just top deck what they need. Alright, get that out of here. Slime, <laughs> bro, this is so bad. The goal of this is to win with Slime Against Humanity. There's other dank options. Oh my god, it's an Arcane Bombardment deck on top of everything. So there, there's Graveyard Hate, there's Enchantment. Like, there, this loses to so much, bro. <laughs> uh, man, I cannot get that last game out of my head. It just Because it, it, that happens so often. Like, opponent just mulligans into Oblivion and they just... They just they not only retain a hand, because when I mulligan, I get the functionally same hand three times in a row, unconditionally. So, like, when the opponent mulligans three, four times and just gets exactly what they need, it's a little incredible. Hmm. Gonna play with fire, you big dog. And then herd migration, I guess, for a red source. I forgot I had slime. Mm, let's run out the slime. If they play Jace here, I can at least big score, um... Because that, that powers up Arcane Bombardment. Thrumming Bird. Well, now they have two cards in hand I don't know, which I do not like. Let's try this. They gotta have interaction here. Second Negate. Now Jace comes down and mills me, but or not, they are drawing a card and tapping out and completely okay. Uh, big score main phase, pitch that. Very good, land go. Now how the hell do I resolve this arcane bombardment when they have two cards in hand? They are not playing Jace, they do not care. Number one. Hmm. Auto pay? I guess that's gonna stick. Play Jason, mill me, dog. <laughs> He's doing it! 
thing is, I need an instant or sorcery, so if I don't draw one, they, the Jace will just take over the game. Well, that's... Here we go. What'd we get? Play with fire. Burn Jace. Hmm. Not good. this. See what we hit with Arcane Bombardment. Hopefully something good. See, this could get countered and um... Climb that. Draw two. First and okay. Play it. No attacks. I don't know what they're tanking on. They have four entire cards in hand and they have a Jace right there. Because the, the first turn I draw a non-instant or sorcery, it's kind of game over. I don't know how I ended up empty-handed, but... Uh, the Arcane Bombardment only does so much. Uh, you you need a constant supply of instants and sorceries to actually make it any of that matter. And I, in case you haven't noticed, am out of cards. Okay, we won, yay. So that was Slime Against Humanity. Um, basically just an Arcane Bombardment deck with Slime Against Humanity, like... Maybe there's a way to build around Slime Against Humanity, but I found it incredibly hard to do. But our Arcane Bombardment is a goat from way back. I still think my... If you go back like a year or so, I made another Arcane Bombardment deck. That was that was goaded there, but... Uh, yeah, Slime, I think you can go. Azorius Tempo is interesting. That one might actually be... Oh, I was going to say Rotation Proof, but now we got uh, Emperor... Wedding Announcements... Uh, not too much, though, I guess, Consider. I, I did a little work with this deck, but I don't really like playing with it. I just don't like this style, but... Oh uh, yeah, let's play with it. Okay, got a game. Uh, that is a lot of land. Uh, sure, let's keep it. Um, convert you on two. Um, I might need to counter something. I doubt it, though. Hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's counter that. <laughs> uh, wedding announcement, let's go! Get some bodies on board for this invasion. Uh-oh. Do I have any way of interacting with Therabrask Forge? Don't think so. Hmm, let's take... Trade of Oblivion. It's just a fundamentally unfair card. Sure. Did I say it was a fundamentally unfair? <laughs> uh, Brotherhood's End. Classic. Well, I still get that. Okay, our board looking nice. Hopefully I didn't top deck another brother <laughs> Brotherhood's End. Oh, they're gonna Rite of Oblivion. Creatures. Insane. Mm. Alright, let's just keep adding bodies to the board. Let's do that. Mm. Untaps them, right? Yeah, okay. 
So we got a bit of protection here. I don't know how much that is. I'm assuming it's not even close to lethal. Got it. Well, let's slam this. Doesn't matter here. Uh, okay. I guess there's running back. Ooh, wee, that is not a lot of lands. Go back and get lost. Might be dying here. Well, at least no one drops. Getting duress would be so bad, bro. But at least that didn't happen. Ooh, opponent is not playing on curve. So now I can... Once again, either no uh, lies or definitely countering this shit. Not a fair card in any capacity. Uh, yeah, let's slam this now. Get bodies down. I can kill, if they play another one of them things, I can kill it. Yep. Again on a one turn clock for the flipping of that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Used up a lot of cards for that. I'll just do this. How the fuck do they have five lands in play? Well, I guess they went first. Uh, counter spell? I, I guess that was bad. But either way, I mean... Now I guess that flips, so... Don't want that. Mm, yeah, we'll keep that. Land, go. Sure. Did, how the fuck did they have enough mana for that? Got me. Even more removal? Let's go. I, I always forget that doesn't actually discard it like I think it should. It just taxes it. Always forget that. Um, Siren, come on down. Q. 
keep the one card in hand, make him think it's counterspell or something. Opponent has drawn a lot of land. Let's get another body. Killing it, yep. Okay. I think we, yep, we virtue here. You get in, whoop, you get in here. Attack you. Bam. And them drawing a uh, virtue here would be horrible. Jadar, yeah, can't stop that. I mean, Jadar himself can block, I guess, and activate map tokens. Wow, look at the top card of their library. I guess I do have my thing, so it's fine. Consider... I just want some... not a land. More land. <laughs> um... Alright, let's uh, play another one. Get big on them. And they can do that, but I do have the light shield, so they'll still have one more turn to... Yeah, so... They didn't want to see what they do, so that, that was that was clean. I think I'm keeping it. Well, it, it does have some cards that rotate, so I guess I can get rid of it. But you see what we're doing. We're, we're doing like Azoria's Tempo stuff. Nice fun... Uh, like battles, flipping stuff, and just nice uh, incremental advantage. Bro, how have I been recording for two hours? Holy shit. Green aggro-ish? Oh, I remember trying to trying to do something with this. Uh, yeah, we go from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 7. Well, I guess you can play it at 5, so it's, it's a decent curve, but this is rotating out, this is rotating out, uh, this is rotating out. So all around, not a... Not much needs to be replaced here. I guess I'll play with this. I'm always down for some green. Horrible hand. Horrible hand, but we'll keep it. Uh, Raptor to the bottom. Opponent's mulliganing aggressively, so you know this is Boros. Or mono green also. Interesting. The difference is they got a two drop. Oh, they're a ramp deck. That's not good. That's really not good. I mean, they did have to mulligan twice going first, but... Yeah, they got their amped raptor. I I can't even imagine what the fuck they're going to play here. Thornclex, is this even worth finishing? I mean, they have one card in hand. Do I not have any black mana? Four, five... Let's play my own. Do some trading. Invasion of Zendikar. Well, stomp. Let's see if we can get a black land. Oh, we do have one. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Get in with that. Trying to prevent even more ramp. I mean, soon they can just flip the Warren clicks. Which might just be enough. It looks like they're doing it. it. Was a turn too late? Let's see. They got. Well, I can exile the Vaultborn Tyrant. How many do they get? Two. What is this? Trailblazer. So they gain about seven trillion life. Draw four cards. Yeah, this this was a going first and mulliganing at least twice, by the way. Exile you. Not gonna be enough, but gotta do what I gotta do to try. Congratulations. 
Like, I don't... What, what do I change here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the fact that I lost that game when they were three cards... The beginning of the game, they were... There was a three... Oh, no, I did mull once, so... I guess there was only a two-card differential there. But still, the... Now they kept an entire hand, so very unlikely I'm gonna win this one. Especially if I don't draw a third land. Well, I had fun, but Arena thinks two lands is acceptable, so let's uh let's move on. Now we we are absolutely not losing to Mono Green Ramp with Mono Green Aggro. I guess if I realized there was a swamp in my deck, I could have and should have brought it out with the first Stomper. So that's a little on my end, um, just forgetting that there was a Swamp in there. But still, I don't think forgetting a little detail like that should alleviate the difference of two entire cards. You know what I mean? Can't wait to see my opponent playing, I was going to say main deck cut down in 2023, but if they are, it at least entered tapped, so it's 2024, by the way. Yep, cut down in 2024, I love it. I absolutely fucking love that shit. Need lands now. This is way too late. Way too late. Holy shit, where am I <laughs> Thank God, bro. Get the swamp. I remember when I used to play with this deck and like actually ladder up with it. Um, the biggest problem I had was drawing way too many lands. Now I seem to be having the literal exact opposite problem. And it, it isn't just in this game, like throughout all the past week, I've been unable to draw lands. I love cut down main deck. I guess they're, they'll draw two cards here. No fucking way you have right of oblivion. Did I already fight this guy? I guess I fucked up by not taking care of the wedding announcements sooner, but like... I just had nowhere near enough lands to actually play magic. Tenacious underdog. Took them that long to play that. Let's just... Exile that. Throw down a Contaminator. And hold up the, uh, uh, Tyver Stain. Ooh, that is not what I wanted to see. That hits the field, I can't tear it asunder, and... They're going to draw two cards here, or not. Doesn't matter, the, the amount of... Kill that. Kill that. One more land. I can have both Stomper attacking and Kinissa full value. They are at 14. I guess they're drawing cards. Huh. I had no idea Corn Dog got up to 4-4. Four, four. Holy fuck, where is my land? This is fucking wild. So I guess this deck just needs to get pitched, because Arena refuses to give you enough lands. Blessing with Soren. Bro, you know I can ultimate Nissa. No, I can't because it only entered with five. Wait. What happened? I'm confused. Why did... I guess it, that's what happens. No attacks. Wayfinder. Go. Creature. So they can kill Nissa here. Holy shit, bro. 
This game was so far, so far in my favor to win, but just refused to give me lands. Literally insane how few lands it gave me. Because I specifically remember with this deck, like, I needed to... I needed to take so many out because I was just drawing so many lands in a row. Is there a fog in standard? Guess not. Alright, well, you're coming out since main deck cut down in 2024. Uh, you're definitely coming in. And you... Awful hand. Just awful hand. This is even worse. Throw away a land, I guess. I guess my opponent isn't showing up, so... Nope, just took them that long to play a swamp. You for one... Uh, don't want that now. If they cut down, they'll have to spend their entire turn doing so, which I'm willing to take. If not, I'll chump. I knew that would happen. There's a lot of, a lot of basic force. And now their cut downs are functionally worthless. You don't need cut down when you have go through the throat. Hulking. Hello? Why do you have an upkeep stop? What are you doing at instant speed? Liliana here would be devastating. Confirm zero. Drop them down to 11. Make them think I have another one in hand. <laughs> I knew it'd work. I knew that shit would work. Fascinating. Well, that tells me probably shouldered hitting the field this turn. Or Bronco. Interesting. Whoo, that is that is not what I wanted to see. Well, gotta win the race before Caustic Bronco takes over the game. Holy fuck. How fucking many Virtue of Loyalties is that? Is this game two? No, this is game three. You gotta make a vampire there. Stomper's big. Then the deck. Hmm. I don't gain anything from attacking, so we'll just pass. <laughs> Hysterical. It's always a land. It is always a land. Well, now I can attack and actually kill the uh, wedding announcement. Three plus one, literally every turn of the game. And another fucking wedding announcement. It finally gave me my Nissa. They do have a single card in hand.
Is it? Go for the throat. Two in the yard. Two virtue. Okay, it's not. Oh my god, bro. Actually insane. So yeah, uh, very, very fundamental. Because you want, like, you're ramping, like, into Nyssa, but, like, at the same time you want to be aggro. It's just a very, very stretched thin deck, and, uh, the land issue is something that cannot be overlooked. You either have so many in a row or not, like, no, not enough to play the game, so. Just a fundamentally flawed deck, so gonna have to get rid of it. Um, I think I already showed this one. It was uh, Toughness Matters with Ancient Lumberknot and Bedrock Tortoise. Pretty sure I already played with this on, a, on the last one, too. I, I think I just kept it for the memes, but it's it's bad. Like, it's really bad. You, you don't think it is. It might it doesn't look bad, and it it shouldn't be, but there, look, there's no interaction. Like, everything here is a creature, so that that's that's one thing. Um, do we have any any interaction in the board? No. That's insane, bro. Time to get rid of tough. What is Gary? We have Golg and Gary. What are these? Okay, Gary is just, uh, ra ooh. I was doing up the beanstalk things. Okay, I like this. This is like, uh, Storm of the Festival ramp shouldered stuff. And this is probably just Golgari dot dot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you do not need to watch me play with this. Uh, is anything here rotating? I don't think so. I think... Yeah, I can actually keep this deck. That's crazy. This one, though, I think I'll play with. Oh, looks like my opponent's hitting that... <laughs> hitting that bat this turn. Uh, they never, ever, ever... What the fuck is Braska joins up? Let's go up the main style. If they play a creature, I can not Liliana because I only have one green source. I can. Yep, gotta do this and ramp for my second black source. Imagine if I could go land five drop and get value off my beanstalk. Oh, I'm going to enjoy that. No fucking duress. Wait, wait, wh how did you play that for three mana? I guess that has a text box. I should read other shit. Whenever a legendary drawing <laughs> card. <laughs> hilarious, bro. Actually hilarious. I guess I'm spending my entire turn here going for the end. Yep, because I knew damn well I wasn't drawing a land there. Do you have a one mana protection spell? I mean, the, the game is over. They're, they're drawing a card every turn because of this. Them not having shouldered isn't going to matter. Like, where? Okay. And I, this is this is why I don't play main deck cut down, guys. I guess I can Lily here and kill it. But eventually they're just gonna hit that Virtue and reanimate, so like... Yeah, this arena not giving lands is... It's fucking crazy. They... Finally played a Magic the Gathering card. Holy shit, now what? Why? Oh, I guess cut down works like that. Well, guess they'll draw another free card. Congratulations going first, big dog. No land here and I'm out. I've had more than enough. Yeah. Great fucking game. It is fucking hysterical how few lands Arena consistently gives you. Turn one duress. Turn one tiny bones. Well, uh, if I draw a fourth land, maybe I can slam one of these five drops. 
And they're cantripping every turn. No thanks. You are clearly the better magic player. What an absolute fucking meme. When I encounter situations like that, and it happens non-fucking-stop, by the way, I have to wonder, like, when I'm just sitting there in my ramp deck, watching Arena give me 5-drop after 5-drop after 5-drop after 5-drop, while I'm just begging for my 4th or 5th land, and watching my opponent with their low-curve low aggro deck just play their 4th, 5th, 6th land, and... While I have like 28 plus lands, imagining they have like 22 or whatever, and it's just, it's fucking crazy because it happens actually non-stop. I have to wonder if there's like some kind of algorithm where Arena just won't give you lands if you're, like it determines it based on your curve. Because it just doesn't make sense how few lands it consistently gives you when you have more in your deck than your opponents. Can't wait for them to not have a card here. It is... Jank Ramp? I'm going to need a third and fourth land and oh my god it's the same fucking thing. Dog, what are you doing? What could possibly be taking so long? Please hurry up. Oh my god, they're going to ramp me. That is all I needed. Like, <laughs> legitimately. Because God knows it was not going to give me my third, fourth, or fifth land, so... There's that. Um... What do you have? No removal. Uh... I think Elder's better, and then I can... If I don't play, uh... If I don't get a sixth land, I can, um... Shoulder it and still get some kind of value. Otherwise, uh... Elder... Really? Well, I guess I can... Because this is a cast trigger, right? So I can... I can shoulder it here and that just kills the enchantment. Now we put him on a fast clock. Now that is fucking crazy. Actually fucking insane. Brotherhood and main deck. Uh, well, let's see what you got. Even more stompers. That is what, number four? Nope, just three. Go shouldered. Gain some life. They got one turn to draw something. Are they just gonna discover? Or is that draw? I can't see. I think it's discover. Fourth Stomper, let's go. What do I get back? Galta? Yeah. Let's just say good game so they hurry up. Guess we go up one the end. Go down a Vornclex. Yeah, let's go full in on duresses. Try to keep him from going for uh, the Beanstalk and uh, what else did they have? Brotherhood's End, um, the five mana one. Just a really 
Strange deck. It's like Dinosaur Ramp, but weird. <laughs> I guess not weird, just Dinosaur Ramp, but I think Dinosaur Aggro is a lot better. That is awful. That is still awful. <laughs> um, so we put back the basic. That entered untapped. I could get rid of the beanstalk before it can tripped, but oh, just that, just that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see what they were working with. So I guess uh, getting rid of one of them did functionally nothing. Uh, it's Get you down, and take black, so I can exile the Vaultborn Tyrant with, uh, Terra Sunder. There's six. Shouldred. What do you have? Because now when they draw cards, they'll, they'll get punished, so... Oh my god, it entered tapped. Bro, you gotta play Spelunking in decks like this. It, like, at least, like, I, Spelunking feels so bad when you draw it back-to-back, -back, but, like, you need it for situations like this, because uh, that turn's probably gonna cost him the game. Sure. Yeah. I guess I should have done that in response to the draw trigger in case they have land uh, protection spell. Draw them to five, see if they have anything else. Iron Crag. Well, they have another Vault Born. Uh, that might be enough to end the game. Because they gain three. Yeah, I, I think... I think that's enough, actually. Maybe I can... Can I attack and win? I don't think so, because they just block Shouldered. And then gain even more life. Okay, I don't add enough. I didn't even need to need to do that there. I don't know how that game would have went. It's hard to avoid getting stabilized on when they have two Vault Worn Tyrants. One is iffy, but two is like game winning. But they decided they would rather not win the game. So we will take that and promptly get rid of this deck that refuses to give me lands. New Cook. Okay, this is this is the last one, bro. It, this is nigh a pile <laughs> like this um, This is what I was tooling around with when uh, not OTJ the one before that Karlov Manor came out. I just wanted to cascade really or uh, discover so It's it's a fun deck, but really weird. Um, it's it's basically just green splashing red for this to cascade while also splashing white to get this uh, just broken um this broken removal and this interaction so uh, this is gonna be the last one I've been recording for damn near three hours I, I don't feel like I've been recording for three hours but uh, you know this this is what happens I, I build a lot of decks and uh, they end up rotating and uh, I need the deck space and arena gives you like ten free decks that take up even more deck space so zero green mana I don't think well I can keep it I have interaction at least Oh, it's this. Well, play that. Kill it. 136 card deck. Soren. Yeah, they gotta do a lot of, a lot of loot in there. Um, okay, yeah, we're probably going to hit. Uh, well, Stomper's good. That lets me, uh, Titanium's Command next turn. 
Now they are digging. And found Sunfall naturally. I'm down to 11. Let's uh, get some lands. These two in particular. Put counters on the boys. Get in. What is this deck? Just planeswalkers? Why did you not sunfall? Holy shit. They had a fucking Liliana in hand. 3-3. Three, three. Do I have enough for both? I don't think I do. Let's see if I have anything that matters. Literally nothing with haste. Gotta kill Ren. And then be at the mercy of top decks, because Lily's gonna tick up and... It's kind of astonishing that this deck can... not only function, but do it so eloquently that, uh... There's, there's no chance in hell I can win. And that only costs two mana to activate, right? Yeah, that's that's enough right there. I've I've seen more than enough. Who is the most powerful planeswalker there? I think Ren. Soren drew so many cards though. Brought him down low on life, but um yeah, Skiliana came down, made me sack, like because I have all the like I have uh the Peacekeeper, I have the Curse of Silence. I'm just wondering what to hit with those. If I draw them, which I'm sure I fucking won't, because Arena, but the only, only platform in the universe where a 150 plus card deck can win versus an actual competitive one, so. And since no white mana hitting the field turn one, I guess we're just doing this. I think it's better to do this because that way we uh, we actually see their hand first with Anointed Peacekeeper. Leyline Binding. It can actually cost uh, the right amount of mana that it should cost. Okay. Depopulate. Nice. Human. They can only cast one per turn. Line binding number two. Alright, they had to hit another answer here. 
three cards, one of them is a Johnny. Channel this. Is that enough? It should not be. Okay. Well, now they're playing High Noon and Random Leyline Binding, so these are coming in. And this will be the game where they go back to Planeswalkers and they don't have any enchantments to speak of. That's fucking crazy. That really fucking is zero sources of white mana. I'm definitely going for go, but con here. They are already fucking can tripping. Green, definitely. Did they find a land? They found a Gix. Damn. Yeah, let's uh, try this. See what we hit. Ugh. So many cards you could have hit. That is not the one I needed. No attacks. Maybe the opponent's beginning to see the downfall of playing 150 cards. Let's again implement the strat saying good game to get them to hurry up. So since my opponent isn't coming back, I just want to say this deck is very fun. Um, you're pretty much cascading into... You often do hit Stomper and like effectively add to the board and uh, ramp faster than you would if you were just hard casting Stomper. So it's... It's good in that regard, but you can also hit bombs like this if you side it in. Uh, this is crazy. Um, you can ramp or fight or destroy an enchantment. Uh, no, you can't hit that because it's five mana, but like, you, you, you know what I mean. Like, invasion, um, just a lot of, uh, a lot of fun there. Um, Hilogix. Get in. So yeah, that's uh don't don't play meme decks like that guys. <laughs> just just don't. And it's crazy because I actually also have a Ren Ren and Seven like Ren and Seven's like my favorite uh card in standard. I I wanted to make like just a, a video by itself um going over uh Ren and Realm Breaker. I get yeah, I guess a lot of these um are still sticking around. I guess it's time to delete New Cook. But uh Ren I made two decks, Ren Discard and Ren Goat. I'm showing Ren Discard first because I made it second after seeing what the first one was struggling with and like its strengths and weaknesses. Its strengths were in just discarding, like so it pretty much just became the the discard deck. And uh the significance of Ren Ren herself went way down and uh I feel like it could just function as mono black, but it, it has a lot of staying power with like Vaultborn Tyrants and stuff. But I found, like, I played with this a lot in Standard, and this was not doing it for me. This one actually got me up the whole way through Platinum rank. <laughs> like, it's still a lot of the same shell. It's, it's splashing red for, um, uh, Helana Lena and, uh, Wind Grace. And the tunnel grinder, but uh, yeah, this actually functioned a lot better, and um, 
Ren feels a lot more at home here because all the modes are relevant. In the discard deck, um, it's not so much a mill theme deck. This one isn't either, really, but like getting big targets in the yard to reanimate is something that we can do here. And um, yeah, I just feel like this is better. So against my better judgment, I'm going to use this as the actual final uh, deck of the video since I've already been recording for three hours. I think I'm going to record this video by itself. I just don't think there's enough content, even though Ren deserves it. So yeah, um, we're down to 54, which is still a shit ton of decks, but a lot of them aren't actually standard, so I'll have to do this again uh, probably pretty soon. I hope not. God, I've been recording for almost four hours. That's fucking crazy. I didn't even do anything, I feel like. Oh well. Just pay my final respects to the GOAT, Ren and Seven, to the GOAT, Topiary Stomper, I know you're on here somewhere, yep, and New Cook. <laughs> and, uh, who else? Kadama, yep, you, you three are, you three are the ones I'm gonna miss the most. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this, uh, three hour long video, <laughs> if you stuck through with it. Throughout the whole thing, I can't imagine anyone did, but if you did, uh, thanks, uh, be sure, sure to subscribe because I'm definitely got more coming. So until then, thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.